whenever we are using the HDP session tracking mechanism, how many clients are connecting to that server side application, that many session objects are going to be created. If more than one session object is created, now the server side, the number of session objects are going to be created and finally performance is going to be decreasing and it is not given to the proper response in time. Right? In order to overcome that problem, now we are going to entering into the cookies. Cookies. So by using cookies concept, we can transferring the those cookies objects from server side to browser side. How it is? Um, directly we can create the cookie object like this. For example, I am retrieving the I am retrieving the students information from client side to server side like this like this string string yes name is equal to req dot get parameter of get parameter of okay yes name get parameter of yes name the next string address address is equal to req dot get parameter of address like this we can retrieve the we can retrieve the so and so values from client side to server side after retrieving then we can store this values in cookies object how it is like this cookie c1 is equal to new cookie new cookie under that we can take here key and value pairs student name the next yes name then cookie c2 is equal to new cookie student address the next addrs address like this we can create the cookies objects and we can store into the those values into okay cookies object after that after that we can send it to the, this cookies object from server side to browser side we can send this cookies objects from server side to browser side how it is we can add to this cookies objects to response object res dot add cookies add cookie under that we can place c1 response dot add cookie c2 like that we can add the we can add the all the all the cookies objects to response object we can add the all the cookies objects to response object right so now whenever we are adding like this the request is coming from client side to server side this is client this is server side code the request is coming from client side to server side and the server side code is going to be received by the input values and it is going to be stored into those cookies those values into cookies objects now once again those cookies objects are coming back to the client side client side this time server side doesn't uh, okay doesn't staying any object server side doesn't staying any object so now all the cookies objects are coming from server side to browser side then whenever we are making a request then once again all these cookies objects are going to the client side to server side 
like this the cookies objects are going to coming and going coming and going from server side to client side and the client side to server side but in this case in this case there is a one small drawback what is that drawback unnecessarily unnecessarily network traffic is going to be increasing maybe sometime if at all more number of cookies objects are increasing maybe network traffic is going to be increasing and it is not given to the proper response in order to overcome this problem also now we have to go for either either hidden form fields hidden form fields hidden form fields or or url rewriting url rewriting url rewriting we can use any one of the concept and we can and we can store the data temporarily at client side some period of time in this case server side objects are not created as well as client side also doesn't creating the an objects right whenever we are using the hidden form fields now the data is going to be appending in the form of text box the data is appending the data is appending in the form of text box in the form of text box here the data is going to be appending to the url the data is appending the data is appending in the form of url in this case in this case doesn't creating the an objects at the server side or client side okay doesn't creating the an objects at the server side or client side right now we will see the all these examples one by one one by one very simple but practically right first one is cookies cookies the next hidden form fields now we can copy and paste inside the web apps folder now we'll see this is the student form here i entered student name and address right the next after that cookie 1 cookie 2 in this cookie 1 i am going to getting address and name address and name the next after that i am going to adding to the, the cookies objects to response object res dot add cookie res dot add cookie that's enough after that those values i am going to printing 
how it is get cookies method we can use and we can getting the arrays of cookies objects after getting the cookies objects then we can print get name and get value get name and get value we can pass and we can printing the all the values now just we can start the server Now my server is going to be starting. The next, open the browser and we'll make a request. HTTP colon HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 2014 the next click on Tomcat manager then admin admin now what I am going to take here cookies app now student form dot html then enter the student name durga the next student address hyderabad hyderabad click on send button now the request is going to server side and the response is coming back so along with the response cookies object also is coming okay now click here to see your details so your details are student name is Durga student address okay student address Hyderabad do you have water problem in Hyderabad bye bye that's enough now we'll see the URL rewriting and hidden form fields URL rewriting means it is going to appending the data in the form of URL whereas hidden form fields means the data is going to appending in the form of text box this is hidden form fields so enter student name enter student id enter student address now here i am taking the three classes hidden field one two three Two, three. So now here I am taken hidden form field. I am going to retrieving the all the values. After that, I am going to appending to that values to text box. How it is like this? Input type is equal to hidden. Name is equal to name is equal to name. Value is equal to name. Like that, we can appending to text box. Now just we can start the server. Now server is going to be starting. Open the browser and we will make a request. HTTP colon localhost colon 2014 then Tomcat manager admin then hidden form fields. Now student form dot HTML. Now we can enter here student name Durga, student ID 1001, student address Hyderabad. Click on send button. Now it is asking to the. Just here we can observing, we can observing 
our data is appending in the form of text format text box input type equal to hidden name is equal to yes name value is equal to durga like this the data is appending in the form of text box right the data is appending in the form of text box now enter the age 25 then click on send button so these are all your details in this case never be creating the objects server side never be created client side never be created right show my age this is your age that's enough now we'll see the finally url rewriting url rewriting means the data is going to be appending in the form of in the form of url url where is that this is one input page so url rewriting just we can observe in here i am getting the all the input values after getting the all the input values i am going to appending i am going to appending where in url like this is equal to s name is equal to name s id is equal to id the next s address is equal to address like that i am appending to data in text box sorry in url right in url the next we can open the browser and we will make a request and we will make a request http colon localhost colon 2014 then tomcat manager login the next url rewriting student form dot html then enter the student name durga enter id enter address send here see now here the data is appending in the form of url so this is the your data in this case also doesn't creating the server side object as well as client side object then click here to see your details this is your details show my address this is your address like that like that we can use either url rewriting or hidden form fields right this is the session tracking mechanism